So my name is Seth Ely, I'm from the Pack to Agility, and today I'm going to talk to you about something that I call the yo-yo transformation. So I personally am an analogy guy, and when I started getting involved with agile transformations, I thought, well, maybe the idea of a butterfly is the perfect analogy to use for uh, transformation. So I thought, you know, you start as a caterpillar and you're kind of walking along and then you go through all these stages and then you become a butterfly and you're, you're just flying over the competition, right? And you're just so agile at that point. And I learned very quickly that that's not a great analogy. But being an analogy guy, I had to have some form of analogy to understand anything, you know? So I had to figure out something else. So I thought about personal health and what can that tell us about agile transformation. So some organizations are still working on the before picture, right? They're, that means you're not ready to change. Like when I took this picture yesterday of me eating this burger. <laughs> Back when I had hair. Um, but then you decide, well, I, I'm ready. I want to make a change. And you have two different roads you can go down. You can go what's called the diet route, or you can go down the lifestyle change route. So the diet route is like white knuckling. Like you're eating stuff that's disgusting, like leaves and little twigs and sticks. And everything that you're doing is just, you're just holding on for dear life to try to get through it to the end of that diet that you set to hit your goal, and then you celebrate at the buffet line, right? Because it's over. You don't have to do anything else. You, you've transformed, right? But lifestyle change is something that's sustainable and long-lasting. It's actually about the process of building good habits. So something you can continue to do forever. So when we think about the habits that are involved with lifestyle change for personal health, you change the way you eat. You have new habits in the category of eating, but it's not sticks and twigs. It's something that you can continue to eat forever, unless you think <laughs> that's delicious. You, you move different. You sleep different, right? So you do things differently, but you do it in a way that you can sustain it for the long term. So here's my new form of the analogy, right? So what I was thinking of as a transformation is actually a yo-yo transformation. It's like a diet. It's, it's those transformations where someone at the end says, well, that didn't take, right? So it's the exact same thing. It's unsustainable, temporary, short-term results. We're throwing money at the problem and assessments and training at the problem and doing it to get to that point where we can finally say, I'm agile. But in reality, you're white knuckling that, and the second you stop white knuckling it, that atrophies, it goes in the, in the wrong direction. So an agile change journey is like a lifestyle change. It's about building habits. It's something that's sustainable and long lasting that you can continue to do forever. And the types of habits that you need to build in order to have an effective agile change journey are things like focusing on outcomes. Knowing what you're trying to get from the change journey, just like we say we need to from software teams. What is it that we're, we need to get at the end? Not just a list of checkbox practices, but actual outcomes of, of these changes. We're making a better business. Prioritize the things we're doing based on the value for those outcomes. And then also building internal capability around things like coaching. So we're not just bringing someone in temporarily to help us over this hump but we're actually saying this is something we need to sustain and do in the long term. And so, my proposal, what I'm thinking after going through that analogy is maybe we should stop saying transformation altogether because that implies that it's this state where it's like a light switch, you become agile and then you're there, like a butterfly. And maybe we should say agile change journey and imply the fact that this is a long term thing that we should do for the betterment of our businesses. And I know for myself, um, I'd like to continue to have that conversation, see what others' thoughts are about it uh, over a huge pile of fried pickles at the Wild Horse Saloon later today. Thank you.